We are back. It's the Lombardi here breaking down uh, a little bit of C.J. Henderson. I ain't going to hold y'all too, 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 too long. Uh, cornerback from Florida. He's number one, and I think he's fantastic. I think if Jeff Okuda didn't exist, we'll be talking about uh, C.J. Henderson being the first corner, being one of those top-tier guys. And I know um, Okuda is getting the attention. But let's not sleep on C.J. Henderson, okay? Top-tier man cover guy. And another thing that helped him out in his pedigree is his speed, okay? We we uh, saw him at the Combine run the 439. And, of course, you know, you could be fast at the Combine and not be fast on film. He's at the bottom of your screen here. C.J. Henderson is fast on film. And that not only helps you, um, you know, in just running, trailing, recovery speed but you know hey, hey man get you some burst <laughs> get you some burst on the back end of these plays to help you drive and make some of these plays on the football man like this play here man cj henderson right down bottom boom 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 giving you room to the inside there i'm gonna see you break and you got a good little bit of separation here but cj henderson can allow that kind of separation because i can burst on the back end and still make a play on you and the football look at that burst right look at that look at that close that separation down real quick and of course that's gonna help him smile in the chat box please give me his measurements because i know he ain't no 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 short fast corner he about what six something uh like 208 or something chat box help me out i know y'all know now if there's anything you can say about the corners this year is that we all look at them different after they run into jmar chase whether it be christian fulton at practice because there's a practice video going around of it. aj terrell in the championship game uh trevon diggs kind of got whooped up on by uh jmar chase jmar make these guys look real pedestrian like and he had a handful of plays against cj henderson let me be fair there but cj henderson put up i think the best fight i would say versus jmar chase you know what i'm saying and not to say that you know i'm, I'm not saying who went or who won or who lost that's that's up to y'all to do your own research there but for cj henderson to put up the game that he put up versus jmar chase was pretty much fantastic it's pretty much him uh with that same 40 we was talking about that same speed recovery speed catching up to jmar chase using a little bit of that length we see him getting his eyes back to find the football that's a really good trait getting the hands up getting the ball up out of there um cj was doing pretty good against jmar they had to put jmar chase in the slot just to try to get him away you know just to see if we could free him open and things like that but cj henderson followed jmar chase in the slot as well so if you end up drafting cj henderson we learned two things here we know that cj henderson can travel plus we also know uh that uh you know he can come in and play a little bit of play a little bit of nickel for you if that's your situation if that's your scenario whatever Here's another example of Jmar Chase lined up in the um, lined up in the slot, and C.J. Henderson is going to follow him and be that nickel guy. And we see C.J. kind of getting a little aggressive here. Take a look at this play, because a lot of people want to act like C.J. Henderson soft out here. Oh, <laughs> let me jam you up. Let me get you about the play, son. You know what I mean? And he did. And he 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 did this all game too. Take a look at him up top. Let me move my remote out the way. Look at him up top moving people right so i just don't want people to think that cj henderson is soft because there's some negative connotation associated with his tackling because his tackling ain't great it ain't great at all but y'all gonna have to do, do that do that research on your own i'm talking about him as a man cover guy i'm talking about his physical traits his speed length and all that good stuff his man cover ability man cj henderson's fantastic bro he's fantastic and of course, Jay Marchese got some on him. You know, there was this play that he caught. Let me go back. There was this play that he caught. And um, there was another like pick play, like a rub route that CJ Han uh, CJ Henderson got caught up in. So Jay Marchese did get his two touchdowns. He got a big play on the right side of the field. But after that, man, CJ Henderson went right back. to <laughs> He went right back to making plays on him. Right. Boom, boom, boom. Come down. Get the ball up out of there. Good luck to you, player. Um, once upon a time, I thought we were going to be able to get him at 17. I don't think he's going to be there at 17. I think CJ Henderson's pops is going to be a top 10 pick for us. That's just me kind of guessing, making declarations or whatever. But I think one of the teams inside the top 10 going to try to um, take a chance on him because you need corners. You need corners in this league. And Jeff Okuda is going to go early. So if you're a team that's between four, I think that's a bit high, like five and six, 
13, 5, and 16 or whatever. If you're one of those teams and you need a corner and you ain't trying to wait till later because there's some other corners there's some other corners that's going to go late first, I can foresee teams like that going to go get a C.J. Henderson because he's that good and he's fantastic. So I don't know what team just drafted C.J. Henderson because I know a lot of people are going to watch his pre-draft, but then there's the people that, hey, you know, my team just drafted him. Let me go watch some video and they find a Vosh Lombardi video. I don't know who the hell drafted C.J. Henderson, but he's going to be pretty damn good when he gets there all right follow me on twitter v-o-c-h-l-o-m-b-a-r-d-i and don't forget about my patreon it's more important than food and water y'all like this video and hold it down for the doski woski and peace whiskey till next time man peace the youtube illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly i tell them that subscribing on my patreon just one dollar a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.